श्रवण जी वी कंट ही Om, good morning, everyone. Today we first we will start with thirty seconds of deep breathing. Through breath, we try to connect your body and mind together. Excellent. Now, still keeping the Gyan Mudra, roll your shoulder back, head up. We take a deep breath and chant Om for three times. Ah. Oh. I can't see you. You're frozen. Both hands up in the air, rub it together. We are still frozen on our screens, sir. I think it's due with the much to do with the internet. Your side. Oh, I, I can't. Yeah, I can't might, see you either. You might have to switch off. For me, it's fine. Time. I can I see. Again, again. The rest of us are okay. Check your internet, please. The one thing why you have to do is switch off and and connect back again. It might I'll be correct. I can't see you. Excellent. Okay. Before we start, I want to give some message. Somebody in Roman time empire wrote something very amazing. That was in 43 BC. What he said was, "The poor, they work and work, work very hard throughout their life, and the rich exploited the poor to make money, and that's why they were rich. And then the soldier protected both." And the tax man, a taxpayer, pay for all three. And the banker robs from all four. And the lawyer mislead all five. And doctor send the bill to all six. And the goons is scared all of the seven. And the politician live happily on the account of all eight. It was written in 43 BC. And it's still valid in today's climate as well. When God blesses you financially, don't raise your standard of living. Please raise your standard of giving. Much more important. No one owns money. You are just a trustee of it. Money never stays still in one hand. Money keeps changing hands. If you succeed in life, try to return it to the society that has been kind to you. Very important. And always give a positive vibe. Haste rahiye. Aapki dunya aapko saath dehi. Jab aap rote hain, aasu bahate hain, to aapki aankhe aapki saath nahi deti hai. To really very important. To keep it smiling. So let's start the class. First, we're going to start with the. This is about the. We will start the first class. Laughter to start. We will do exercise the whole organ. Open your arms up and go. Ah 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 ah
Laughter is laughter is one of the best form of exercise to exercise the whole body. Also, the brain releases endorphin, which is able to manage your pain and other things as well. Body goes in more parasympathetic nervous system, and body relaxes, plays a very important part. Next is the acupressure, rub your hands together, trying to generate enough heat between the palm of your hand, at least for 20 seconds. Once the hand gets warm enough, then you open your finger and clap them. One, two, three, two, three. Excellent. We're doing all this to open up the energy channel. The energy can flow freely to promote health. Another one is the clapping through the make a pom pom a cup like this. Clap it nine times. One, two. Next there. One. Next arm there. Just a round bit. And then one by itself, it's best to start the same one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one round. Second one. one two. And the last round. Excellent. Just by doing that, you manage to clear mm -hmm. any blockage. And whatever block is left, we're going to get rid, get rid of this by alone below. Put your both finger, index finger, middle finger, sunni vayu mudra. Put the left hand, knee, right hand. Purpose of this alone below is to clear any energy channel. Just give you the maximum benefit of prana. Alone below me is one of the best way to clear any blockage in the system. That's including the energy channel in your body. And relax. Well done. So you managed to clear up all the energy channel. It was six on either side. That's 12. 13 one goes from governor vessel from here to third eye to crown chuck and through the spine to the back passage. And the 14 day conception vessel goes from back passage to the middle all the way back up to here. So they all play an important part. Any blockage is fatal. Gives you disease as well. So next we're going to expand the lung. You have three sections of your lung on the right side, two on the left with the heart in the middle. Most people with asthma, bronchitis, respiratory disease can't expand the whole lung together. So we do in section. First one, mudra, chin mudra will expand the bottom two sections of the lung. 
and then the other mudra will expand the two sets on top there and the top one of this and your air passage to promote overall health. The first setting in Gyan Mudra, upside down, we use the pranayama of Bastrika for 30 seconds to expand the bottom section lung in Pijin Mudra. Excellent. Next, still keeping the chin mudra, focusing on the bottom sex of the lung, we do kapalvat for one minute, focusing on expanding the bottom sex of your lung. Excellent. So we're holding the chin mudra and using the pranayama bhastrika and kapalvati, you manage to stretch the bottom section of the lung. Now we're going to focus on the top section of the lung. Again, adi mudra, open your palm of your hand, put the thumb in the middle and make a tight face. That sends the prana to the top section. We do bhastrika for 30 seconds. Excellent. Next, still keeping the Adi Mudra, we use the pranayama of Kapalvati to expand the top section to learn. Excellent, well done. So you manage through certain exercise to expand the whole lung through certain pranayama and mudra. Next, we want to do some exercise to expand the lung again further. But before we do that, in Bastrika, there's a lot of confusion. A lot of people think the stomach dive is stomach breathing. You can't breathe in the stomach. Air only goes to your lung. When you breathe in, lung through the airways goes to your lung. So lung expanding, for that to happen, your, your rib cage needs to stretch so diaphragm can go down further. And for that to happen, your stomach needs to come out. So if you put your one hand in the stomach, one in the heart, when you breathe in, your stomach hand should go come out further than your chest. And when you breathe out, your stomach goes in, diaphragm comes up and chest comes out and lung can expand further. I expect lung can squeeze and throw out all the toxins, all the gases in the body. That's the whole process of prana. If somebody tells you different, I'm not here to argue about it. This is my understanding of the whole process of prana. And this is what helps to increase your, increase your lung capacity. So it gives you more oxygenated blood, releases, controls your body temperature. 
releases good hormones, internal organ exercise, so body throws out the toxins. As the highly clean body becomes a highly immune body, immunity improves to fight the infection, remove dead cells from your body, prevention of cancer and other things. And best of all, helps to control your emotion, your anger, fear, anxiety, depression, they all can come down. So let's put your both hands, stretch your leg in the front, and put your both hands in the front as you breathe in. Let the air absorb in your blood and be that. Complete the whole process. Two. You see, in my teaching, I don't focus on counting. Those humble amongst friends, hum does kare ya pandra kare kya antar padta You should focus on breathing in and out. The so people can realize, if you go back, you breathe in, when you go forward, you breathe out. Excellent. Well done. Make a tight fist. As you go up, open your palm of your hand, breathing in, and come down, breathing out like that. Excellent, well done. Now we're going to hold your rep like this. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, you go forward, engaging your shoulder. Hold it for a few seconds. One, two, three. Come back, breathing in. And breathe out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next, put your both pressure. Namaste. Press in, right hand on the left hand, left hand on the right hand. Take a deep breath in. Hold that breath and put a pressure on both hands and gently then breathe out. Once more. And next, keeping the pressure on as you go up, you breathe in. When you come down, you breathe out. Excellent. Next, put your both hand there. Make a tight fist. Come slide. And then go up. When you go up, you breathe in and breathe out. Dukarai is coming to Fada Hora. If it's painting, it's working. Excellent. And do the opposite. I like the way 
Le mat, il dit, coucou, coucou, coucou. Il est Your hands are tired, just shake them up, just twist them like this. Listen to your body, your body is your asset, your liability. Look after it. Next, put your both hands out there, you breathe in and do a seizure action. Exercise will make your oxygen level high anyway. If you even if you don't want to, <laughs> you're you're making your lungs stronger. Excellent. Next one, put your both hand there. You breathe out. When you open, you breathe in. Excellent. Your shoulder is tired, just do that. That will take the pain away from your shoulder blade. Engaging your shoulder. And if you smile, you get double the benefit. What's good at the Next, to engage the shoulder blade, take right down. Then do the reverse. Next, now you go behind the hand, you touch your four, four finger. When you come out, you cross over, breathing out. See, the first one is when you this, this, this one higher up. So you're squeezing the top part of the lung. When you do the bottom one, you're squeezing the bottom part of the lung. So that's, that's why the two had different benefits, you know? Excellent. Next, we can do the hand exercise with your both hands together in front. And it's very good for even arthritis of finger, copper tunnel, tennis elbow, foot and shoulder. All these problems will go with spondylitis and all this. Put your hand there. This go finger may ask right this side. You have to do that more often to get rid of pain. But just now we didn't go prevention. Next, put your hand there. Excellent, both hands there. This will be good for copper tunnel. Excellent. 
Excellent. Now make a tight fist, both hands together. And do the opposite. Next, put your both knuckles together, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, opening your knuckle up. You don't open your knuckle, please. I, I see some of you opening your knuckle. Don't do that. You have to keep it together all the time. Excellent. This is very good for prevention of frozen shoulder. Now put your both hand there. Excellent. Now go sideways. Then keeping your hand there, touch the front, breathe in, and breathe out. Now do the opposite. Excellent. Now interlock your finger, talk it all the way back up, breathe in, keeping the hand up, head up, and behind, don't bend your head, behind the head, take the hand and go triangle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Excellent. Now, for neck muscles, make it interlock your finger. Put the back of the head, take a deep breath in. Holding your breath, put the pressure on each other. Hold it for five to 10 seconds, whatever you can. And relax, excellent. Repeat that once more. Excellent. Now do the same thing on the forehead. This makes all the preventive spondylitis and makes your neck muscle stronger. Once more. Then the right hand. Then left hand. Excellent. Next, we're going to do the eagle pose. Put your both hands in the front. Right hand wrap around the left hand like this. Just simple, just do what we can. Take your hand like this and like this and there. Hold up and do Kapalvati for 30 Same thing with the left hand round the right hand.
left hand. Next is the gong cutter. Take your right hand on the back of here. Use your left hand. Push as far back as you can. Even if you can't touch your hand or left, try to at least make effort as much as you can. You can use a napkin or a socks or a rope to do that. Look up. This is a part of a gomu cutter for the shoulder problem. Prevention is better than cure. All these exercises prevent frozen shoulder as well. Especially people with diabetes, neuro problem, and winter time. And exactly the same thing with left hand. Hold the back up. This is much harder for me. Even I can't do it, but at least I'm trying to make effort. Look up. Excellent. Last but not the least, do the namaste behind your back. If you can't do the namaste, just grab your hand like this. And this will help you to prevent frozen soda again and do kapal varati bhakti. Take your hand up and go sideways. This is like a slight warm up exercise. Excellent. Next, we're going to do that. It's, it's, it's spine exercise now. To get correct to your spine, put your both hands like this, take your all the way back up, and focusing on your spine with the kapal bar. Sitting with some pain, just stretch the leg in the front. This is very good for your spine and also to exercise all the organs on the right and left side. Take your first right leg over the left leg and your right hand goes close to your body to make the spine go straight. And left hand comes up like that. You just try and do kapalva. Thing with opposite leg now, take your left leg over the right leg, left hand close to your body, right hand comes across, twisting yourself left side, so exercising everything on the right side of the body.
Excellent. Next, we're going to work on your spine. One of the best mudra is Merudan mudra. If you make a tight face like this, that will make fix the top part of the spine and stretch the bottom part like elastic band. So most people tend to have a lower back pain or sciatica pain. This will prevent that. Just by doing this, breathe in deeply. If you can hold it for a few seconds, hold it and gently come back. That will make the stretch the spine. Hold it for a few seconds and gently come down. So it will be further apart than what it was before. Next, we'll try to bit forcefully, doing Kapalvarti in the same mudra. some exercise for your pelvis muscle. That's what need to be stronger to support your spine, especially the tailbone and the lower back of the spine. Just put your both hand there. As you breathe in, you go forward, the right leg, hold it, come back up, and then up. Mm. Excellent. Next, trying to stretch the side muscle, put your both hand there, right hand on your floor, left hand breathing in. As you breathe out, go. Hold it for one, two, three. Excellent. Now put your both hand there and push it down. Excellent. Now use the hands and pivot around your hip, your, your pelvis muscle. And we'll open it. Next, very important one for male and female. For male, exercise your prostate, and for female, the even the sneeze and cough, urine leakage, or also exercise the uterus. Take your back passes, pull up, hold it tight, and release it for 20 times. Breathe in when you pull up, hold it, and be there.
And if you have a problem, then you should do it 50 times throughout the day, whenever you're sitting in the sofa, anywhere at all. And if you really have a severe problem, then you put, try to put a tennis ball and sit on the tennis ball and try to grab your tennis, tennis ball with the back passing. That is self will strengthen your muscle. For male, prevent prostate going from 20 gram to 80 gram when you have the surgery. And female, your muscle will become stronger after childbirth, so you won't get the urine leakage. Usually after the childbirth, nobody exercises that organ. And Kapalbhati is also one of the best exercises to make your mulabhal stronger, so your muscle becomes stronger, so you, you don't, so you don't have any issues afterwards once you get older. It plays a very important part. Seven bike, can I do this if I go hernia? Yeah, you can do that. But hernia will stop that because hernia is, you know, problem is the thing coming out and then. Just okay. gently, just be, yeah, you just, you, you're making the muscle stronger. That's what, that's what, your muscle is weak. That's why it gets you hernia also in this time as well, you know, not in okay. this thing. All right, thank so, you. That, that will help okay. any, but just, but listen to your body. If, it, if it's paining, then obviously something not right, not doing it right. There's a, so obviously you have to stop and, and talk to a GP or your, your yoga teacher somewhere and find it. And obviously just now with COVID-19, sometimes it's very difficult to meet people directly. So yeah. Sometimes it's difficult to show, but definitely any, if you have any problem, talk to me on your on, on yeah, I'll one ring you. One. Yeah, I'll ring you when you're free. I need a yeah, yeah, no problem. You can okay. Thank you very much. Let's Thank you. Right. I've lost the plot now. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not as clever as I used to be. I'm getting older now. So my, I'm getting demented slightly, I suppose. Age is catching up with all of us, isn't it? Very important. Uh, so we've done the Aswini Mudra. Next, we'll do it. People sitting on the floor, do the butterfly. Very good exercise for your pelvis muscle. If you're sitting on the floor, do the butterfly. If you're sitting on a chair, just do that. Well, I'll tell you, do the butterfly 50 times. This will make the muscle stronger. Prevention of back pain, sciatica pain. Also help to pump up the lymph fluid all the way back up to the groin and fight infection. Excellent, well done. You're all doing very well. You all become an expert now. The lower left, first thing we need to do is stress is one of the biggest cause of ill health. So we have to release your anxiety. When you, have, when you have anxiety, what you do, you go, you breathe in, and you go, ah, it's time to release the anxiety. So what we're going to do is breathe in and breathe through your mouth, holding a straw, twice the length of breathing in to gently release the anxiety. Excellent. Next one is you breathe in three times and fourth time you breathe in and cough loudly. That's why you're able to clearly plug the positive in your artery on a daily basis, prevention of heart attack and stroke. Also remove any mucus from your lung if you have any fluid in the infection. So take it. So, so please just take a three deep breath. Fourth one, you breathe in now and cough loudly. <coughs> Let's stay down for a few seconds. Again, breathe in and cough again. <coughs> Excellent. Next is we're going to activate the biggest nerve, very important. Which longest nerve comes from the crown chakra to the base chakra to Mulada and it connects to every different organ. Once you activate the biggest nerve, it's activated the parasympathetic nerve system and body goes in, all the organs go in relaxed and in mood. So it's a right proportion of blood supply goes to each organ to give you oxygen and nutrients to make them function properly. But when you're in distress mode, your cortisols are released. And the blood goes to your muscle and hands for run and flight. So there's no enough blood left to go to the other organ. And that's why 
short term stress is good for you, but if you stay for long time, it creates havoc in your body, and that's what it causes a lot of diseases. Most people get cancer or something else because in life they went through certain stress. Something happened in the life to give them a trauma, and that took the body over the over the thing kind of idea. And stress is one of the biggest cause of ill health. Very very important. So what we're going to do is next to release anxiety through your thymus gland with the middle of the chest. You can tap it like this, or you can put pressure on it and do Kapalvati for 30 seconds. That will activate your thymus gland, which will reduce anxiety and also increase your immunity by releasing T cell. Excellent, well done. Take a couple of deep breath. Next is the nitric oxide exchange. Before we do that, just stretch your leg again. We do some grinding. And how do you do grinding? In one of the mudra, which gives you double benefit. Remember, we are Bharti Loka. We want less effort, maximum benefit. I've been trying for the last couple of days. We do a ling mudra. When you do grinding, hold the finger like this. That will hit the body as well. Increase your metabolism and also help you to lose weight by grinding as well. So do both at the same time. Link with that. Excellent. Now we do the reverse. With this exercise, you're losing your fat around the stomach, but also you're increasing your digestive power to Ling Mudra. Double benefit. Please try to keep your hand straight. It'll give you more benefit. And relax, excellent. Next, cross your leg. This time, touching your toe is not important. What I would like to do, what I would try to do is do an Adi Mudra, open your thumb middle, tight twist. So that's you improve because you're doing Bhastika at the same time. So expanding the top trend like you go to... That's one way. As Koselaji says, do the other way now. <laughs> no, it lovely always makes me laugh, no problem. <laughs> she makes you suffer twice the length, you know.
Excellent. Next, we're going to do the grinding. Do some mechanical line again. Best way to do a ling mudra. Put your, put your like that. No, we can't do ling mudra anyway. So I'm saying just use the, I think we should try the other one again. Your, your adi mudra. Make a fist and go like that. Relax. Today we forgot something. Nobody reminded me. We forgot to do the bastrika. <laughs> so let's set in the gan mudra. I just gather and the back is straight and the kiji mudra focusing on your third eye. Do a meditation as well. You find holding in Kiji Mudra, your breath will be deeper. And so you have more oxygenated blood. Run the with Swami internationally. He made me into an international, be, international beggar. When we went in Dallas with Swami Jacks, and we collected five million dollars within a couple of hours. That's the story. <laughs> Yeah. 
last time
Excellent. Now lifting the weight up, put your hand there. You go up all the way back up. Excellent. That was round one. If you're tired, just shake your body up. Just, just walk it, wiggle it all right. Just get that. You can do that once more. Excellent. Let dead men walk. Next is the star jump and the side. Next, lifting the weight up. And just shake again, just twist around, just get your stamina back, breathing in out. And do it for the last time again. Excellent. Now dead man war. And relax. Next, we do the star jump. Next, lifting the weight up. And relax, just shake your body up. Just sit down in asan, whatever asan you're sitting on, just to get your breath back in again. You've done all very well, well done. Just for 30 seconds, where we're sitting down or standing up, just take for 10 seconds deep breathing. Then we do yogi, yogi. Bustrika is one of the best way to get energize your body. After that, 
मन बॉडी का थकान दूर जाता है If you're doing Khichri Mudra, you help to activate the parasympathetic nerve system and body goes in relaxation mode. Excellent. Now we're going to do the yoga. If all stand up again, we do the yoga yoga. Yeah. 
exercise also for life and also for detox weight loss is kapal bharti so first we only done the spine exercise and we done also leg over next we're going to do the first udan mudra for your foot now before we do that let's do the for pankia if you sit in bhajrasana if you can anybody otherwise you sit in the chair i'll highlight mine is also you can see somebody else doing really the way it should be done in bhajasan thunderbolt pose otherwise you can sit in the chair or any asan which you feel comfortable in and make a tight fist take a deep breath in breathe out completely put down your belly button and you go down and look up and do kapal bharti for 30 seconds Come up, breathing in. Like, repeat the whole thing once more. Breathe in. Breathe out completely. Put the belly button either side of your lobby, and you go down. Look up and do Kapalvati. Come back up. Next, we're going to exercise the digestive system. So we've done the pancreas. Next, your liver and your spleen. Make a tight fist again. Right hand on the liver side. Left hand on the spleen side. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out completely. And you go down. And look up and do Kapalvati. Come back up. Next is Udan Mudra. Take your four finger together, put across there. Very good for thyroid for weight loss. Put across there, and you're twisting there. You're doing Kapalvati for 30 seconds. Next is the Sunvayu Mudra. Your index finger, middle finger, both together. This is all for weight loss. Your index and middle finger, base of thumb, there, yeah. and you do Kapala.
Next is the plan mudra, the little finger and the middle finger, ring finger, holding together. That increases prana in your body and increases immunity, and very good for eyesight. Next is the upper mudra, your middle and the ring finger to get your toxin. As the toxins are eradicated, you lose weight with your hand there. Less, rather than just doing the Sur Mudra, we do the uh, cuff Nastic Dosa, which is the, your middle ring, little finger and the ring finger, base of the thumb, both sides. That helps to reduce Kapha and increase your Pita. Very good for losing weight as well. Do that Kapha Bhati. What your mind thinks, body deliver. You can't say that you can't say that you can't Think that you're losing weight. That's when you what lose does weight. It calls, huh? what, does, what does the Mudra call? Kapha. Uh, Kaf Nastic Mudra. Okay. Lot will call by different name. It reduces Kapha and increases Pita, your digestive power in your body. So Kaf Nastic Mudra. So your little finger and the middle finger base of the thumb and the thumb goes on top. Last but the least, very important for low weight loss is the we don't have only today Ling Mudra like this. Ling Mudra. So it's not for the blood pressure, it's to heat heat your body up. What your mind thinks, body deliver. I've got high blood pressure, but I'm doing Ling Mudra to heat my body up. So let's do that for 30 seconds. Jaisa sochenge, waisa body karega. Body listen to your mind. That's why you have to learn to control your mind. If you learn to control your mind, you become healthier. If mind controls you, then your body becomes a servant. The breath is the main vehicle to control your mind through prana. And relax. Last but not least, people with low blood pressure now, we do the Ling Mudra, and people with high blood pressure, upon Vayu Mudra. In this finger, base the thumb, and the Vayu Mudra. So depending on which element you have, if you have got low blood pressure, you do a bit faster. Other people do a one per second. Excellent. Take your both hands up in there, rub them together. Time always catches up with us. I'm sorry. Sorry, but we're just rushing through slightly. Next, very important one is Ujjayi for weight loss as well. Clamp your throat and put a Kichi Mudra and take a three short one. <coughs> and then the long one. <coughs> Then put your chin down, then close your right nostril, come up and breathe from left. Take cool it down. Once more. <coughs> and relax. And obviously, next is the unlong belong. We only we done it already early on to clear pockets, so we can do that for another 30 seconds, just for the Sunvayu Mudra.
So like um, now, Mohan Bhai, you take the Kusala, you take the class to finish by the Brahmi of Gita and Prana, if you don't mind. Kusala, you meet yourself. I'll try to highlight it. Huh? Sukhasan Ma, Sukhasan, we are doing the three ohms. Oh. Oh. Om Sarave Bhavantu Sukhina Sarave Santu Niramaya Sarave Badarani Prashyantu Ma Kastip Dukha Bhagavave Om Shanti 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 May all be happy. May all be healthy. May all enjoy the prosperity. May none suffer. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Push both in front of your face. Fish, both of front of your face. Rub it together. Rub it together. Make a cup shape. Make a cup shape and put it in your over your, over your eyes. eyes. Slowly. Slowly. Now we're doing the Sihasana. Making a voice like a lion's. Now we're doing the Good laugh. laughing. Ha 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 जो किया था डोलत ताली करना है कैसे ये पांव ऐसे हो जाना चाहिए पूरा ऊपर उठाइए दोनों पांव दोनों पांव ऐसे कीजिए एंड डोलत ताली Well done, one way. <laughs> that was good. Just hope you enjoyed it. I think we missed out a few things. Doesn't matter. I, I kind of confused myself right there all today, but doesn't matter. Hope you all had a lovely class and wonderful. very nice class. Thank, 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 thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Very nice class. Everybody, bye. 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 Bye.